Hello friends, back again at the Boyman Channel. United States troops, the UAE held a big exercise in the middle of the coronavirus. So guys before continuing to the video, I beg for support from friends to like and subscribe to this channel. Al-Hamra military bases, United Arab Emirates and Marines and the United Arab Emirates held a large military exercise on Monday which saw troops seize the vast model city of Mideast. The exercise was conducted amidst tensions with Iran and despite a new coronavirus pandemic. Troops raced across the dunes of the Al-Hamra military base to take the model city, complete with multi-story buildings, airport control towers, oil refineries, and central mosques. A controlled explosion was heard as Emirati troops drove from the floating helicopter and the Marines searched for narrow streets in the Persian Gulf for enemy forces. The biennial exercise, called Native Fury, shows the close relationship between American and UAE forces, a seven-sheikdom federation at the home of the Arabian Peninsula for Abu Dhabi, the capital, and Dubai, its financial heart. That also happened after the United States killed General Iran Qasem Soleimani in a drone attack in January and Tehran responded with ballistic missile attacks on American troops in Iraq. Joint forces of the United States and Emirati troops then stormed the imaginary city of Alhamra. The block consists of houses that stand alone, hotel and apartment complex including an unfinished gas station with a sign for Popeye's fast food chicken restaurant on it. While the shootout was largely empty, the practice remained very serious for the UAE, which has spent billions of dollars on its military and includes Black Hawk and Chinook helicopters circling overhead, armored ships centering the city canals and the facility itself. The UAE deployed troops into Afghanistan after the 2001 U.S. invasion targeting Al-Qaeda after the November 9 attacks. His daily ruler, Abu Dhabi Crown Prince Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan, has sought to project Emirati military power in the Middle East and into East Africa as well. Former U.S. Defense Secretary Jim Mattis is famous for proclaiming Emirates as a small Spartan because of his posture. The military impetus included participating in a war led by Saudi Arabia and Yemen who have seen sexual harassment in UAE-controlled prisons and Emirates pay members of the local Al-Qaeda branch in the country. The UAE has since pulled its forces out of Yemen, calling for a political solution to end the conflict between Iran-backed Houthi rebels there and its internationally recognized Saudi-backed government. Rakalta also described the exercise as defensive when asked about Iran. There was no immediate reaction in Iranian state media to the exercise. Iran's mission to the United Nations did not immediately respond to requests for comment. Also of concern is the ongoing outbreak of the new coronavirus. Rakalta said there were no U.S. diplomats in the UAE that contracted this virus, 